First and foremost, I want to give all praise to Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shah, Baha Hashem Rakah Kadash. Second, I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of GMS that do rule well. Peace, love, hope, and salutations to the hopeful elect that's scattered across the four corners of the earth where Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah has placed you at in these last days. Shalom to you, Akim, that's out there risking your life and your freedom to preach the words of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah via highways and byways or via the internet. Shalom. Shalom to you, confusion the face. Israelites that are out there, you know, the Israelites that may look like the members of the other nations, but your bloodline goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And if you can receive this, you're Israelite. Okay? So shalom to you. Shalom to you, you few agwa, you, you sincere sisters out there that do learn and do subscribe. And shalom to you, few children out there. Okay? This is the brother Micah coming at you again for another quick lesson. Um, today's lesson is just going to be based about, um, really Yahweh Shah and who he, who he really died for, you know, because a lot of people have that misconstrued, especially the ones that's not really in the truth, you know, especially, you know, so like in your, your, your so-called, you know, your, your Christians and everything that go to these Christian churches and, and, and are still believing in these watered down doctrines, which are lies. Okay, because as the Bible states, Yahweh Shah died only for an uh, individual of people. He died for his people. Okay, because you always had people that say he died for the whole world. Well, he, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah doesn't love the whole world. Okay, and before I really get in deep into this lesson, Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father who the world only calls God. Okay, Yahweh Shah is the name of the only begotten Son. Who the world we call Jesus Christ, and in these perilous and last days, you're gonna to want to call upon the names of your power, call upon call upon the names of Yahweh, Baha Shem, which Baha Shem just means in the name Yahweh Shah. Okay, there's power behind those names. Okay, now safe tower. This is Matthew chapter one, verse twenty one, and she shall bring forth a son that she is married, and thou shalt call his name Yahweh Shah. For he shall save his people from their sins. Okay? So who did Yahweh Shah die for? Did he die for the whole world? No. He died for his people, which are the Israelites. Okay? You so-called Negroes, you so-called um, Native Americans, so-called, you know, Hispanics, so far and so far. Y'all make up the 12 tribes, man. You know, Judah, Judah, Reuben. Levi, Issachar, Zebulon, you know, Nephati, Gad, you know, Simeon, Asher, Manasseh, Benjamin, you know, and so forth, and, 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 and so forth, okay? We just got to know in, this, in, these, in these days and, and, and age that our Lord died for individual uh, uh, people and he's coming back for those people okay and those same people that the Lord is dying for is the ones that was with him once before when he walked the earth all the different time periods of our Lord Yahweh Shah being on this earth the same individuals living now y'all the same ones that was living back then okay this is Matthew chap chapter 19 verse 28 and Yahweh Shah said unto them Verily, I say unto you, they which have followed me in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit on the throne of his glory, you shall also sit upon twelve tribes, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Okay? His people. Okay? You're going to be a part of that governed body. Alright? This is the importance of Yahweh Shah and the importance of knowing who Yahweh Shah really is and who he died for. Okay? Because if it's not told, then you won't know. You can't always go by, you know, the whole the whole John 3.16, which I'm going to get. Because you have to really understand that properly what it is that they're saying. Alright? See, y'all think that the Heavenly Father is all love. No. He hates too. He destroys. And he kills and he makes us alive. Alright? And you got to know when his son comes, his son's not coming with, with open arms. 
yes, open arms for the elect of his people. But the rest of these nations are going to get their ass whipped. So, you know, so like him. And two thirds of our people are going to get jacked up too. So now is the time that you come out of that deep sleep, all right? Because the same people that loved the Lord then is the same ones that love him now. Nothing has changed. And that goes to show that re re reincarnation does exist. All right? Let me get another one. A preset. Because at, at, at this day and age that we in, it's very important for us to, to know, especially the hopeful elect, you know, people that's hoping to be a part of that election, that we know what we know, and we know what we know is 100% accurate. Not going to come with you with any lies, because I learned from great men that have 100% truth, you know? That's why we give double honors to the elders and apostles of GMS that do rule well. This is John. This is John chapter 1, verse 10. He, he was in the world. And the world was made by him, okay? So the world was made by Yahweh Shah, all right? And it makes sense because Yahweh gave him the blueprint. So now you have to know really the importance of Yahweh Shah, okay? Yahweh Shah is a very, very important, important person. He's a very, very important, you know, figure. There's no name under the heavens that have more power than it. I mean, you know, you got Yahweh, but... Anybody that's living now, their name don't have more power or more prestige to it than the name of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah. Okay? He came into his own. Salakim. I had went down. Salakim for that. And the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. Okay? The world rejected him. Y'all don't really know who Yahweh Shah is. All right? His own people today are still doing the same thing. The one that died so people wouldn't have to experience this, you know, this hell. The day of the Lord that's coming upon us. Okay? He died so we can have a better chance at living. He died so we can be at one in peace with the Heavenly heavenly Father. And he also had to die for his sins that he committed. You know? Because he was also Isaac. In the reincarnation, he was Adam. And, um, you know, he was Adam, he was Isaac, you know, King Solomon, and then he came, you know, as Yahweh Shah, okay? So you gotta, we gotta clearly, this thing has to be clearly, you know, told, and, and, and so the people can get a clear understanding, you hopeful elect out there, you get a clear understanding that Yahweh Shah is a lot bigger than what people give him credibility. Actually, you know, in the churches, you you won't hear anyone give any mention of Yahweh Shah, okay? Bad enough, they, they whitewashed and destroyed his image, you know? And then you got you simple-minded niggas that's still out there praising, worshiping a false power, false god. Better come back, man, while the doors of mercy are still open, man, and repent. And come back to our Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Come back. Because the doors of mercy is not going to always be open. Just like in the days of Noah, so shall it be now. Okay? This is verse 11. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. So that right there lets you know that he only died for a particular... He didn't die for the whole world. He died for his own people. Okay? Let me jump down some. But as many as received him... To them gave he power to become the sons of Yahweh, the sons of power, as you may say, even to them that believed on his name. All right, you have to believe on the names, you have to believe in the names of Yahweh, because great power is coming and power is going to be rewarded to the men, you know, the hopeful elect, the ones that was really, you know, out there, highways and the byways, and, and, and you know, via the internet. You know, and you, you firm believers, okay? Power is coming to us. Yahweh Bashem is going to grant us power, okay? Who the world, who the world calls Jesus Christ, 
is going to give us power. Okay? You can go to your, your churches and, and pray to a false entity all you want. Jesus Christ is not going to help you. Okay? Know the, know the real names of who is the, the, the real true power of the Israelites. Okay? Because we have this thing all misconstrued and fucked up. Okay? Because we have a, a power and he's giving us his name. You know? So he's trying to build a relationship back with his people. But his people just smack it. Oh, no. And the same the thing about it. Like what she's saying about the regeneration. Those same people that rejected him then are the same ones that's living now. Okay? So it's nothing new under the sun. That's why this generation is not going is is not going to pass until all these things that's just that's written upon in this Bible is going to come to come to pass. Okay, a lot of things is going to come to pass. You feel me? And, and Jake just don't care. It's just it's some scary, scary, scary shit. You know that that two thirds of our people is going to experience because they rejected him, rejected this man twice. So how terrible is that? But you love, but 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 you know, you Jakes out there, y'all love Esau, but hate the Lord. Okay, this is John chapter three verse sixteen. For Yahweh so loved the world, okay, that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believe in Him should not perish but have an everlasting life. So I'm gonna reread that over, okay. I just had read it in, in, in um, verbatim, plain sight, but I'm going to read it with, with 100% knowledge from my great teachers. For Yahweh so loved the Israelites that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life, okay? So that's all that's about. It's not about the whole entire world. Because if that was the case, it would have said that Yahweh Shah came to the, came to the world and they rejected him. No, it say he came to his people. His people, which are the 12 trials, the ones that's oppressed, the ones that's living in fucked up, low-budget conditions. All right? We are the people that Yahweh Shai came to. We are the children, you know, Israel. We are the ones that's about to receive the kingdom and the benefits. Okay? Because we're not living on this side. You know, you got Jake out there buying land and property and all that so Jake can be safe. See, so think about it. You're not going to escape the judgments of, of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh There's no way around it. You know, then you want to live in peace with your enemy? Come on, man. Like, like does Jake really know who the enemy is? Okay? The Lord came here to, to make the vision. You know? And and this is and, and hearing these words bring give us comfort and give us peace. But you gotta also know that the Lord did not die for everybody. He only died for his people. He died for, extremely for the elect. See, you had the first deliverance in Exodus, the whole nation was delivered. This time around, that's not gonna happen. Only the elect are gonna be delivered. Okay? Only the elect. Only the elect of the nation of Israel are going to be delivered from the from the, um, the judgment that's going to come. Okay? So we got to give all praises, honor, and glory each and every day to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Alright? Salakim so for um, my slowest um, words because I actually was... Um, Reading and looking, I was looking for an um, actual Bible verse that I had um, written down, so bear with me, Akia. I do apologize for this. Bear with me, please. Um, okay, the 
Kawadi Hall by Shema Hushah. Do y'all do apologize for that. And this, this is how, I know it's probably been heard so many different times, but this is how the Lord is going to come back, okay? This is um, Revelations, this is chapter 1, verse 7. Behold, he cometh with the clouds, the chariots, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierce him, and all the kindreds, the kindreds of the earth shall well because of him. Even so, amen. All right? So all y'all out there that deny the Lord, is going to y'all going to well because so much death is going to be occurring when he comes back. He's going to be killing. That's all, that's all you're going to be. It's going to be a deliverance and it's going to be a destruction. All right? So you better learn right now who the true Lord is because once he comes back, it's game over. You got to learn that the Lord did not die for everybody. All right? How about Shema Rashad don't love the whole world? You think you, you think he loves what's going on right now in this fucked up place? Women over top of men, you know, men's fucking simps. Man, the list goes on and on. So we need a we need a place where righteousness can 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 reign, and it's going to be brought in by Yahweh by Shema Rashad, right? So give up and giving all praises, honor, and glory. To you, how about you, you know, all praise, honor, and glory. I hope this video was edifying. I hope this hits the hearts and the minds of the hopeful electors out there. You know, just let you know that Yahweh is a very, very important person. Very. Shalom.